Good afternoon, I'm Daniel Pizarro. Sunshine Coast Mayor Roseanne Natoli has offered her condolences to the family of former New St. Butterham osteopath Ashley Good. The 38-year-old was one of six victims in the Bondi Westfield stabbing attacks on Saturday. Mayor Natoli spoke to 10 News First exclusively a short time ago. It is an absolute tragedy and I don't think there's anyone who hasn't been touched in some way by this and feeling unsettled and just really feeling desperately sad that this has happened. The Caloundra Music Festival has joined the increasingly long list of cancelled music festivals. It means a $4 million loss to the local economy, with Sunshine Coast Division 2 councillor Terry Landsberg calling the announcement a blow to music fans. The cancellation is due to rising costs, with organisers hopeful of returning in 2025. It first started in 2007 and ran every year except for 2020 due to the pandemic. The CMF follows the shock cancellation of Groovin' in the Moo earlier this year, but other music festivals such as the Mulaney Music Festival and the Sunshine Coast Chamber Music Festival are still planned to go ahead. To sport and the under-17 city versus country extravaganza was a one-sided affair in the girls' under-17 match, despite featuring Sunshine Coast Falcons talents. Michaela Elliott and Ashlyn Pollock represented the coast, but the team was smashed 60 points to 6. In the boys' under-17s, Charlie Oates and Jackson Coiner put up a fight, with Coiner scoring a try in the 46th minute. His efforts weren't enough, City winning 50 points to 24 at full time. Final look at the weather, partly cloudy on the Sunshine Coast, 27 degrees for both Calandra and Noosa, Gympie a high of 28, mostly sunny over in Toowoomba, 25 degrees and a maximum of 28 in Brisbane. I'll be back in now, more news.